is Frank Bruno and I'm going to show you how to quickly use the features in the Systemizer software. Uh, when you open up the program you'll notice that you have uh, a node here called New Mind Map. Okay. What I like to do is use a scale here. You can scale it up as you see it can slide scale bigger and bigger. I like to go 75%. It seems to work real well and then I kind of close it down. To add a node to get started, right click, add new child and you can edit the text my node as an example um, and you can just keep adding nodes if you like um, and such and then you can close them down open them up in this kind of manner it's really cool because you could start building like if you want to map out your sales funnel you can do something like this And I'll show you kind of a neat little trick here too. To build uh, a sales funnel, you can copy this, paste it there, and you can do something like that. And that's pretty cool. And you click uh, Edit Undo there. It gives you you can put two nodes into one by doing. It. It's kind of a trick I actually stumbled across myself, but it comes in handy if you want to do something like like that. Uh, new node and you can just do something like that so that's how you do the node part as far as adding new childs and whatnot if you want to add some elements in there you can add a link Google and you notice the little green arrow right there you just click on it and it'll come right up to Google you can also browse your computer and and put anything that you want in there just click on the file type and what will happen is is that when you click on the green link it'll take you right to your file so if you link to a text file it'll open a text file if you link to a PDF it will open your PDF and, and so forth if you want to add a note you just put my note and a little note pad will appear here if you want to open a note just click on it and your note will be right there and it's pretty self-explanatory everything. If you want to uh, add an image, you just uh, browse to your image where it's at. Let's do this for a quick second here. Let's do this. Let's put Friday in there. Boom. You got Friday in there. Um, you can put any image that you want. You can put videos in there. Same thing. You browse to your video. It could be WMV, MPEG, or AVI. And, and also I want to show you this too is when you put an image in there you'll see a little image tag here it shows you the path of the image as you see but if you click on the A standing for the text it'll show the text instead if you'd like and you can switch back and forth and you click on image and text well when you, in, when you uh, insert a video it'll do the same thing as as an image and your um, it'll be a little video icon over here and you can actually play the video um, in the node so that you can switch back and forth you can go um, your text you can go image and then click on the video and the video will open up and the, the node will stretch out to the size of your video and you can click play and play it's pretty cool stuff there and insert um, multiple files which is pretty cool you can add um, a list of files as you see here let's add another one and it could be anything it could be images it could be text files PDFs documents uh, anything that you want and that list them in, um, in a list here and if you want to view them you just click on what you want to, which one you'd like to view and then click view file and it'll open up and view the file such as that like that and so forth and you could also add more or you could remove them as you see I'm removing them I'll just keep that there for to show you and you see a little paper clip here and you click on that that's where your new files are and it pops open and it has a list of your files and you can also remove each one as well you could also put in a reminder and it pops up a little calendar here you can put there and uh, you click add reminder or um, add reminder and you hover over it you can see the date and the time 
and when the date and time comes you'll have like a bell of some sort not it won't go off but it'll have an icon indicating that it's time if you'd like to remove it you just simply right click and it's gone that's all you gotta do now I wanna show you something cool if we put uh, in a new note over here you wanna insert a reminder same thing but you can actually append the date so click append the date and uh, the date will append just like that um, if you want to, and you notice down here in the tab, you have a new map. Every time you open up a new file, it'll it'll open up a new tab. So if you want to create a new map, you just click new, and there you go, new mind map too. And you can switch between your mind maps. So if you have different mind maps, you can you can you know when you create a mind map, you can create um, your complete mind map all in one, or you can split it up. I I, I often split my mind maps up. Um, What's really cool about making your own mind maps here is that it, it can, can become interactive where you can just, if you have like a, a sequence of events that you follow for like say article marketing or video marketing or you have some daily things that you do, you can just open up your mind map and work off of it. You can just link directly to your the websites or files on your computer and just work off this little map here that you make for yourself. Or you can just simply make um, little maps for uh, mapping out your product uh, and sales funnel or your autoresponder series or whatever you want so let me just go through some quick things here up on the file menu here it's pretty much self-explanatory new you create a new map open save save as revert close export what's really cool here is you want to export it'll export it as a PDF so just name your PDF and name the loco like location they would like to save it at your mind map will be created in a, in a um, uh, on a PDF file. And you just open the PDF and your exact map will be shown on your PDF file. And it's really cool. You can give it to your outsource workers. You can give it to clients. Um, you can do whatever you want with it and post it online. And you could also import as well. Now importing is basically um, you're importing a directory structure. So if you have some articles in a folder on your desktop for an example, you would scroll to it, click on the folder that you want. And of course this is not a article directory here, but um, what will happen is is that it will import your whole uh, folder structure uh, where all your articles are located. So, you have, so let's say you have 20 articles in a folder and they're all in a Word document or a text file, whichever one. You can browse the location, click, and then click import. I'm not going to do this here, but you click import and it will actually import and make the nodes themselves. Each article will be a node. So you can click on the links and it will take you to your document. You can print and then quit, just close the whole program down. So let's go to edit. Uh, let's go here, edit. Undo. So if you add a new no, a new child, you can click undo, it's gone. Or you can click redo, it appears back up. You know, cut, copy, and all this. Now, let me show you about a copy single. So if you have, uh, if you want to copy this node, you can click copy single and click on that one and click paste. It always goes in the same exact location, so you go like that, boom, a copy uh, a single node. Versus if you copied this and click copy, paste it over here, you would get the whole structure along with it. So that's the difference between the two. Uh, and you can obviously remove the node as well. Um, in view, you can zoom in, zoom out, uh, zoom the fit page, whatever you want. I like to keep it at 75% insert same thing new child new sibling new parent um, and all the uh, functions in the in the navigation menu as with the right click you can add notes images uh, videos files hyperlinks and the calendar okay in format this is where um, you can kind of play around with the nodes um, different styles of the node for the text or the outline or the the um, the link style which is the little um, connector here so node font it's pretty self-explanatory. Just click bold like that. Now it's bolded. Node style. The text color you can choose to red. It changes the text to red. And a border thickness. Let's say watch the border over here. It's the upper left hand corner. You can change that to 5. It'll change. 5, 5, 5. Um, and click OK. And it'll change it and, and such. Uh, link and you can also change the link style here uh, which clean change that to blue I like to use a sharp linear it seems to look pretty cool and you can change that you can put like three 
and uh, it won't change until you move it actually there you go like that and it changes the link um, style